Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Chan. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for Parks and Rec. A fun show and fun a place and activity. Can I say this? Mm -hmm. I like Parks and Rec better than The Office. Yeah, The Office sucks. Yeah. 30 Rock, though, is a great oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of jokes per A minute, lot of jokes. Boom, boom, boom. I don't yeah. get a chance to breathe. Well, that is true for like season three on. Seasons mm -hmm. one and two was a little slow. Mm -hmm. But once they found their groove. That's a funny show. Let me tell you. Ladies, mm. huh. leave your man at home. I'm so excited to, that you're all here because I feel like I haven't seen you in 37 days. Mm -hmm. It has been a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been an Easter weekend, an egg celebration. Egg Oh, select. yes, it's yes. For those who celebrate. Um, those who celebrate eggs. For those who celebrate, yes, Kong vs. Godzilla is out on HBO Max. Mm -hmm. If you have a subscription, if you don't, I'll give you mine. Um, Kaiju. Kaiju is the Japanese word for big monster. So you're big, Kaiju. <gasps> Clifford's a Kaiju. Okay. Clifford the big, Clifford the Kaiju red dog. <laughs> I would say Tina Burner is a kaiju. She is. She's a classic kaiju. Kaiju. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta give her her eardrops. I'm sorry. You keep talking. It was a weekend for things big and things shrinking. I feel like that was the motif. Yeah. Easter eggs are small. Easter eggs are small. But that cross was big. That cross was big. You're um, big, Jesus. Do you like Easter? When I was a kid, I certainly did. Yeah. My mom would hide Easter, you know, eggs around mm -hmm. the yard. Mm -hmm. and But my mom would do the same thing. She always did this on holidays. She would have specific eggs for the, I have two older sisters. Mm -hmm. And it was like candy, candy, candy. And then one per kid had money in it. So she would be like, oh, 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 no, 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 that's not for you. That's not for you. Mm. Go that way. Mm. <laughs> and then one fun thing that I would do is in Houston, we had slugs. Did you have slugs? When slugs. You were yeah, 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 yeah. We would have slugs sometimes, like around the fireplace. I would put them in Easter eggs and then hide them. As a little prank. I know. Is and that, what if is someone that forgot about the egg? Is that gross? That slug is dead. Is that mean? Cut that out. Keep it in. Did you? Were you an Easter? You I was an Easter, Easter kid. Same situation. My mom would hide the eggs. There would be like the special eggs, uh, and we would give like the little kids a head start. Oh like, yeah, because you were on the older side of your. Are you the oldest? I'm the second oldest. You're of the older. I'm of the older. I'm the baby by like many years. Mm -hmm. So basically, only child Accident. vibes. Accident. Mm -hmm. Now we got ourselves a very. Very Christian woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right you here. love Christ. So this is like, this is Christmas Korea, what? Roman Reloaded. Correct. So <laughs> it's, the weekend in general, for, as, a, as a Christian woman, it's really, yes, it's celebratory. Sorry, JB's ears, are, I gave her eardrops. Yes, it's celebratory because he does rise. He is risen. Sure. He is risen indeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But on Friday, he was, he is crucified. He is Crucified indeed. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to imagine white Jesus going through that. I just uh, remembered Ray Bolts. Does that name mean anything to you? Or Roy um, Bolts? Yes. Uh, Ray Bolts. Roy Bolts. Roy, Bo Roy Bolts was a Christian yeah. singer. And there's a song where he goes, Now crucify him. Is that from a musical? Well, he would write his own yeah, musical. Yeah, he, he had very, like, musical theater. Because mm. he, you know, because he had sex. With I wonder him. what he's doing now. Dead. We definitely still did Easter baskets and shit. Mm -hmm. I remember being, do y'all remember the first Easter where your mom didn't send you an Easter basket? Do you remember that? Oh yeah, that was pain? a trend on TikTok this weekend. Well, it's a trend for a lot of heartless yeah, yeah, yeah. women. Do you yeah. remember the last time your parents put you down and never picked you back up again? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Yep. That's horrifying to think about. Don't think about it if you can't handle it, but I think about it all the time. Oh. I'll go. That hurt. When was the last time you picked me up? We can start now. Pick me up. It's never too late. It's never too late. I mean, well, picking up an adult is is difficult for elderly people, but your parents are young. They can pick you up. Mm -hmm. so I that, hate to put like that into that mode. Now you're thinking about when, <laughs> when, was, the <laughs> last time, when was the last time daddy picked me up? 
Uh, oh. I will say, when I was like 12... <laughs> what? I just took it to a different place. <laughs> oh, incest. So I will say no. when I was like 12 or 13, you know who held me a lot mm. when I, as I got older? My papa. My grandpa, this big southern gruff man who chewed tobacco and watched reruns of baseball games all day. He would just sit in his recliner and he'd be like, come over here, baby. And then I would just like literally crawl up in his arms like a tiny baby and he would just rock me as he chewed tobacco. And I was like 13 and I loved it. God Aww. bless. It feels God. nice R.I.P. Papa. He did die the week of my high school graduation so he tried to steal my thunder so I'm still getting over that. Fake. But we'll get there. Can't wait for you to hold me in, hev in heaven. I'm not going to heaven. Ladies. What's the tea? I have a merch update. We did release Chan's iconic line Okay, girl boss, you better fart. You better fart. We did release that merch. We did not initially put that on a t-shirt because we thought you've got enough t-shirt options. You don't need that, right? I was wrong. I heard your cries. It is now available at IMHO The Show mm -hmm. as a shirt. Okay, girl boss. And then a really exciting development. Kristen, one of our messy queens, mm -hmm. one of my good good friends. Her nine-year-old daughter, Ellie, mm. is a big IMHO fan. Ever since she got her IMHO hoodie, she has never taken it off. Oh my gosh. It's becoming a problem. But she, she <laughs> got an iPad for Christmas and she likes to draw and she loves to draw JB. So I said, hey, Ellie, would you mind drawing JB for me? And maybe I could put it on a t-shirt or something. And she drew a picture of JB that mm. was so good. It is now also available in the merch <gasps> shop. So if you go to imhotheshow.com, there is a JB denim hat that is embroidered with JB's image, the one she drew. And then there's also a JB fanny pack that is embroidered Ooh, with Can JB's we pop the image, image right here? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, they're up. A, they've been up. That's so, talent. Isn't that cute? That is a lot of talent for right? nine years Right, nine years old. old. What was I doing at nine? Not this. But child labor laws. Oh, I paid her in hugs. And that's how they all should be. And that's how, and that, and that, yeah, put those kids to work. <laughs> Wait, cut uh, that out. <laughs> I, I knew I shouldn't have committed to it. Speaking mm. of putting people to work, I have one last, I'm so sorry. I, I know I'm taking over, but that's my personality. My grandmother, Mama, mm -hmm. who was married to Papa before he ruined my graduation. Oh. She's in her late 80s. She's been stuck in the house ever since last January. She's only left her house twice in the last year and few months. Oh, good for her. Well, it, it's sad for her, but yes, yeah, she's trying to stay alive. She's been coloring a lot. She loves coloring books. So I thought, I'm gonna buy my grandmother a coloring book. I'm gonna <laughs> send it to her mm -hmm. and it's gonna be a sweet little treat. Mm. Well, she got it and she thought it was a job. So I send her this coloring book and I call her the day she got it. And I was like, I saw it was delivered. Did you get your coloring book? And she was like, yeah, baby. I mean, I've been working since I finished dinner, but like, I don't know if <laughs> oh I finish God. this. And I was like, oh no, 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 mama. Oh. Like, this is not a job. I, I, it's just for your fun. Like you don't have to, to finish it. And then for the next <laughs> couple days, she kept calling my mom and being like, I don't know, Drew sent me this, this coloring book's really long. I don't know if I can get this done for Drew, but I'm trying. Mm. She sent it back. It is completely done. Oh um, my god. And they are food puns and they're so cute and I I don't think she understood any of them. She also made this asparagus. Uh, she gave him a white face. She's still, you know, she's in her late 80s. She's still working through some stuff, but she wants to be better. <laughs> and then in the very, very back, she wrote, Aww. Dear Drew, I hope you like these. Love you, Mama. Aww. Isn't that sweet? That is sweet that, that you're putting sweet. kids to work and the elderly too. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no, what? That's true! Give her hugs. Are you I'm surprised that dark. this is where you are in No, life. honestly, no. <laughs> I haven't turned since, dark today. Yeah. This was the first. This was okay. the moment. And well, once I saw Kathy Lee Gifford doing it in the 90s, I said, I can get there one day. <laughs> and I guess I did. So, what I was thinking, and y'all tell me to fuck off, but what I was thinking... Fuck off. There... You told me to tell you. Everything has changed. That was very brave of you. <laughs> Ooh, character growth. I'm sorry, you, you wait. told us to you're do You're gonna it. go home and then tomorrow morning you're gonna have 10 coloring books waiting for you. And I'll be like, get to work. I was thinking, cause I don't need all of these. I think I'll just keep the white face asparagus cause that's embarrassing mm -hmm. and I want my grandmother to, to grow. But if you're interested and you would like to purchase one of oh, these. Oh this one is done. Yeah, cause she thought, well it's green screen so I don't know how much is in it. Oh. But she, she treated it like a job. 
job. So I was thinking maybe we sell them and then we're able to send her flowers with that money or do something nice for her because she's been stuck inside for so long. So if you would like to purchase one of Mama's <laughs> Drawing original works. original works works of art food puns come on food puns food puns now you're not gonna be able to choose which food pun you receive uh, I'm just gonna tear it out at random uh, but go to imhotheshow.com and, and maybe if and maybe if there's like if you sell out quick and we get people that put send her back money, to work mm -hmm. well we'll donate that to something no we're just gonna put her back to work I'll order <laughs> more I'll really stress her out that is really sweet and I want to see a follow up on that story we should definitely get a little camera going see yeah <laughs> you should flowers. go with the camera crew oh, down to yeah. her just, you have to just have them follow well, I, I will be down there now that I'm fully vaccinated I'm going down for my mom's surgery in a few weeks mm. and I'll be able to see her so maybe yes. I'll wait till then and I'll surprise her Ooh, okay, okay I got a plan I like that that's story. a good idea I like that okay. story. They want to follow it. Stay tuned. Let's stay tuned. More on that later. My grandma was a gambler, a smoker. She brought this man around while she was babysitting us. Yeah, she, she sounds fun. Fight. She would not color that book. She would, <laughs> she would laugh. She would scratch her under boob and then flick that at me. Like, that was <laughs> the kind of lady that she was. Yeah. She sounds fun. She was fun. Yeah. She was a lot of fun. My grandma, when I was 17, requested that I start calling her mamma. And I was like... Now, at 17, I gotta start saying mamma. Mm. I love the audacity of your grandmother. That's, that's She was really nerve. sweet. She was really sweet. Oh, she, she never did. talked. Yeah, she did. She did. Mm -hmm. okay. I read a poem at her funeral. <gasps> Ooh, LOL. was it hilarious? I don't think it was intended to be, but I did get some laughs. This episode. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> That scared me a little bit. That was hard. <laughs> this episode, their main challenge was an acting challenge. They are going to be starring in the movie Hanny, I Shrunk the Drag Queens, mm. a parody spoof of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the hit 90s movie, 80s movie probably, actually. Uh, yes. I love, can I be honest? I love that movie. movie so much. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Yes. Okay, was that a Disney Channel original movie? Or no. Was that... No, that was movie theater. Okay, that was the, movie theater. Yeah. The third installment was a Disney Channel original movie. Okay. And you could tell because it's like weird. What's the third one? Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Where they uh, replaced the Honey, I Blew the Up mom. the Kid. It's... Oh. I love that movie. Yeah, so I feel like that franchise is very much like Sister Act. You know, Sister Act is one of the few franchises where the second movie was better than the first, Ooh. even though they're both really good. I feel like <sighs> Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Yeah is way better than Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, although they're both really good. Okay, so we're talking about sequels better than the original. Okay, yes. so yeah. Shrek oh. 2. <laughs> uh, undeniably better. I don't, the superior movie. What's the plot of the... The, uh, the plot is they the have baby? to meet the parents, and oh, he yes. has to turn into a human to impress them. You know, meeting the parents. Oh, uh, big chore. But the grand finale, Fairy Godmother. Oh, uh, yeah. Holding Jennifer out for Saunders. a hero, Jennifer Saunders. LGBT icon. LGBT Brilliant. Q what a moment. Icon. What a moment. Go back to. I gotta be honest. I, mean, mm -hmm. I think it's time I revisit Shrek because I didn't like them. I didn't like those. Watch, movies. watch the second really? one. Yeah. What? Were you going through something? Maybe I identify too much with them. With the. There was a. The there's green. a beautiful message in it. You are beautiful, no matter what movie you watch. Shrek can't bring you, you down. down. No, 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 no. Shrek won't bring you down oh, today. <laughs> Sad. So we have five people left, yeah. which means we have an hour and a half to fill mm -hmm. with only five people. So the episode as a whole, big. It was a big hole. Big hole. It was a big, it was a big hole. hole. Long, very long. Love they tried to holes. fill it with a special guest appearance, appearance, appearance by Scarlett Johansson, uh, famous LGBTQ icon. Faith. Famous Asian. <laughs> <American trans. laughs> they get to see a star. That's fun. I forget that she is married to Colin, Colin Jost. He can. He no. He can't. I don't know if he could. W mm -hmm. Would he? Would, would he? he? I don't know. I think he would. I think he tried. I think he tried. <laughs> I think though there'd be an attempt. Mm -hmm. Um. Good for her. Not a good huge Scarlet fan. Yeah. I don't know that I. Yeah. I haven't seen her statement coming out against Woody Allen. I'll say that. Oh. I'll say that. I'm not talk about that. I'll say that. Okay. Every documentary I watch, I get very invested in, and I take it into my life and my everyday 
experiences. Have you watched the QAnon one? Mm -mm. It's not about QAnon. Hmm. It's about the it's about the people who formed 8chan and like who might be Q. But all they're doing is talking about 8chan. I don't give a shit about that. A movie about social media? Yeah, it's on HBO Max. So when you're done with Godzilla versus Tina Burner, then you do you QAnon. Could, you could sue them for stealing your name, Chan. For Chan? For Chan? They got the idea of 8chan when you were 8 years old and you were wandering around yelling so at So I'm people. the heiress to an internet legacy. Maybe I don't want to fight this. Maybe I want oh, to Oh no, if you my... watch the documentary, uh, 8chan has never made money. So maybe it is you. I relate. <laughs> <laughs> So we moved to rehearsal and we have Michelle Visage and Carson Cressley. I, I, I like when Michelle Visage helps in rehearsals. I think she's a good, I think she gives it to him straight. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy Michelle. I think she's a nurturer. Yes. Yeah. And a dummy mommy. Dummy. What? That sounds hot. I like that. Mm -hmm. Dummy mommy. You ever see when she's like interviewing uh, or being interviewed from her home and like she's in the closet and then her husband's like walking around in the background and there's like a cage on his dick or something? <laughs> <laughs> She just like has him like chained up in the back or something. That's the coloring book we should send you, Matt Momo. Alexis? I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm trying to get funny again. We skipped over the part where they divvied up the roles and mm. Candy and Simone wanted the same one. And it was like, who's going to get it? And then Simone just kind of gave up. Mm -hmm. Simone gave up, which Candy fought hard, got the role she wanted. Did it pay off? No, it did not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I mad at her really for not. fighting for the role she wants? No it's, no, it's a competition. And there's only one step left between like the big finale. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I, I agree with Candy. If all of the parts are written as you, specific, yeah. they're specific, don't take any big chances in the final five, getting into the final four. Like, play yourself, mm -hmm. keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry but then that. that's what Simone ended up doing in the rehearsal. Hold on, I have a hair stuck to my lip. Do, don't I? Did you get it? <gasps> no, I got it, I got it. Is it growing out of your teeth? Yeah, so... So it's like a marathon and it's reaching the end and you know, some of them might be winded, some of them might be running out of tricks, mm -hmm. some of them might be running out of little stunts. So they're just gonna stick with what has been working. And we saw her talking head, she broke down. Being in the bottom two the week before really upset her mm -hmm. because yeah. she didn't want to disappoint the people that believed in her. Mm. And so I think she wasn't in a place to try something new, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. oh. She is yeah. someone that wears emotions on the sleeve, is very front with how she's feeling. And I like that about her. It makes well, her very she, relatable. She did want that part that wasn't her, so maybe she was trying to do something different. I don't know. I watched this when I was hungover. I think it, I think <laughs> it worked out. Because it, those, like you said, the parts were kind of written with those people in mind. Mm -hmm. So it was like, it wasn't really the uh, the argument Sorry. of playing it safe I did that or too. whatever. Oh, no. I did that to you. Um, Got Mick is making everyone laugh. Mm -hmm. Got Mick made me laugh in, their, in his talking head when he was like, do I want to be an actor now? <laughs> like, am I good at acting? I think I don't was. know about that, but, but funny. I loved Candy being the giant cat paw, just like. Yes. Hitting got making the crowd. Yeah, oh, she got paid extra for that because technically that's two different roles. Oh, yeah Godzilla talk to your union rep. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, Yahtzee uh -huh. rep. I Love a giant prop. Can I say that? Okay. I love a giant carrot prop. top mm -hmm. when I care I love carrot top when carrot top takes it to the max Ooh. Love it the plug the giant plug they were calling. Oh, that said, was fun. That's mm -hmm. a big plug. And they made that plug. That cat paw. That's cats funny. aren't that big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love big props. You know what's funny? A giant hat is always funny. Always funny. I will not stop laughing if I see a <laughs> giant hat. Ooh, yeah. Like in the Sex and the City movie when she's eating all that guacamole and, and she's got big. the giant hat. <laughs> or a very... <laughs> you seen that? I'm gonna lose it. I'm not. <laughs> don't, don't, don't describe it. it. Don't describe don't it. Don't spoil it. You've never seen me. that? No. Oh! We gotta watch Big hat in the, the city. city. Also tiny hats. Tiny, tiny hats, hats are, funny. are even funnier. Medium hats, neutral. Nice try. Wait, can I be honest though? Something is off today. What? I think talking about all these, you know, they get shrink, there's big props. I feel like, mm. I feel like we should also be tiny to discuss this, to really have an opinion. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you have any magic shrinking dust? Well, they, so they shrink when they turn on the light. Right, because okay. drag queens oh. can't have... Oh, so the overhead light. Mm -hmm. Will you get the lever? Will you put your hand out of frame and touch the lever? Well, there's this remote right here. I was like, no, wait. That remote? Wait. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh. oh, my God! 
Look at how big our set is. That We're my, so tiny. That okay, be balls, careful. Right? I don't want I don't want JB to hear us because she will eat us. Oh fuck, that's that's a she good. She eats garbage. So Alexis, she'll go for you first. Hey, wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wow, no. I've never noticed how clean your dressing room is, Darby. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Well, you do have to keep it clean when the, they have to come in and look at mm. the apartment to make sure the kids are okay. They never find the kids, but they also never find dust. Um. Another thing that struck me, can I say this? And I know this is really picky. It bothered me that when they were climbing the giant plug, they weren't thinking of it as if they were climbing it vertically. Oh yeah. Because they were all leaned forward. Yeah. Which if you're climbing up would not be the case. You would be more like your feet would be here and you'd be like either leaning back. I see. You know what I mean? I see. Yeah. So that when I watched it, I said, what are you doing? You were, look ridiculous. I believed everything until also, this point. I would never have the upper body strength. Just for to do Are that with just my hands I and in a have, corset? I wouldn't have the will to do any of that. The minute I shrink, I'm like, great, this is my new reality. You don't have a will? You should get that. I oh, know like I do. That. Literally all it says is nothing for Alexis. Don't let her come to the funeral. She can park the cars, though. That's so sweet to include me. Aww. What were you going to say? I would like that it took that for you to be like, no, I can't suspend disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> All of this is real, but it, it comes real, down real, to real, that real, little real, wire. Real. You better saw that physical comedy. Oh, and that should have been Carson and Michelle's job mm. to be like, hey, mm. you're climbing vertically, but clearly they've never climbed vertically. Yeah. Mm -mm. I did. I don't think... know. I feel like Michelle, oh, well, she's climbing horizontally when she's on Rue's coattails. So I guess she doesn't <laughs> climb vertically. She climbs horizontally. So she didn't know. <laughs> you are never getting cast on that show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Wait, I did think it was shady slash kind of hilarious, the montage of Olivia. Can I ask a question? Oh, May I ask yeah. a question? Mm -hmm. That was funny. But I could see how that would wear on you. Yeah, because it was like, it reminded me, uh, honestly, especially during that, I very much identified with Olivia. <laughs> Let's just get into the looks. Because now okay. they have the runway, and the runway theme is hot pocket. Hot pockets. Well, but I'm sorry. Before that, though, we did get Rue. Oh, yeah. Rue. She looked cool. What was Rue wearing? Did again? you think it was cool? What was she wearing? It was like silver, like with a weird rope thing. It was like art. The asymmetrical. Uh, with like a silver. And then she had I've hair. I've liked everything. Well, the hair was perfect. I've liked everything that she has done this season for the most part, but this one, maybe it was the fabric. I don't know. It didn't, it, I didn't. Oh, 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 oh. It just maybe I thought it was kind of cool. Oh. Yeah, I like the reflection of it. I mean, the silhouette is always, she's been changing up the silhouette lately, which is good. Uh-huh. Agreed. But I think that this was a return to, it's always. Oz. Oh. I thought it was interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't, and that's okay. And that's okay, and that's your opinion. That's my opinion. I guess I don't have an opinion on it. No. I don't have one. Which, honestly, is a very strong is opinion. Is a strong opinion yeah. to not have one. Mm -hmm. Do you have an opinion on care. the runway theme of pockets? I love this theme. Love. I think it's very clever. Fun. I love a theme that can go an in infinite amount of ways, and I think we saw a variety of that. Yeah. I want to briefly mention the girls that weren't on the show. I mean, Kamora always looks stunning. Mm. We love our Denali. She looks really Ooh. cute in the Polly Pocket kind of see-through. Like mm -hmm. Amazing. Oh. Also, I gotta say, I liked Tina's. You liked Tina's? Wait, what was Tina, Tina, had a, to Tina had a reveal and she had a tuxedo with like magician's handkerchiefs out coming out of the pockets. And then she took the reveal off and it was the handkerchief ball, like the juggler's balls and handkerchief skirt. I think that's fun. Where's the pocket? The, the pockets, the pockets are, the, oh, she tugs the the reveal. out of the pocket. Yeah. <gasps> that's oh, pretty cool. That's smart. I okay. need the video. Okay. Oh, no, that's okay. Fun. Okay, that's pretty. Okay. I think that's fun. Yeah, that's cute. That's okay, I, yeah, that's, I take it back. Well, I don't take, I am still mean, but I, I take, I, it's a good idea. Mm-hmm. I got you, Tina. Oh. Oh, JB's here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do not let her see us. As long as you don't sit on the ground, she won't put her entire ass on us. I can't tell you about her. Okay, she's laying down, she's sniffing. Don't look at her. Okay, 
That was scary. I've never been scared of her before. You think if she farted, it would kill us? <laughs> or maybe get us really high. I don't know. Oh. JV! <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fart, up first on the runway. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea who's up first. Uh, who's up first? Up first, we had Simone. Oh. Simone had this denim oh. pocket, like giant pocket. Speaking she of shrinkage, was in the pot. yeah, I loved it. It was pants. The hair was red and yellow. Yeah. I've never seen that done before. It was so cool. I loved it. What mm -hmm. a brilliant! It was so cute. The zipper. So yeah. what was so that? Three cool. D printed. That was nice. It was. Yeah. It was so nice. I was trying to think. Or did she go up? Did she climb the beanstalk and she stole a zipper from the giant? <gasps> the giant's mom. Why the giant's mom? You got a Why the giant's brain. mom? Have you got a creative brain. Cause she's a woman. Isn't it the giants? Isn't it like a mom? It's him and his wife. Listen, I know that love has been difficult for you to find, but there's someone out there for everyone, even giants. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh! Speaking of, Danny was supposed to get here today, as of day of filming, but he he um, had a COVID scare, so he's quarantining in Brussels for two weeks, and then he's gonna come here after. But he just told me that he also might have to go to Dallas first and take. When care am of I gonna meet him? <sighs> What am I going to see this Danny? Literally, she literally Danny. same. Same. It's been, you know, some would say two months and not, some would say Did you a see lifetime. that somebody put all of your Danny clips into one big mess? Yes! Yes! That made me so mad. <laughs> it made me happy. Thank you. Whoever you are. Up next. We had Rosé. <sighs> Mod, black and white mod. mod. Black and white mod. Okay. Reveal. Coming out in a capelet mm -hmm. with a hair so cute. Mm -hmm. She had a mod makeup. I loved this. Loved. It was really cute. What else are you going to do? I mean, what would y'all have done pockets, for pockets? Pockets, pockets, pockets. I'm surprised Holly no pocket. one did hot pocket. Hot pocket. Hot pocket. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Burn the roof of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Just peel skin off. I think the... everyone goes through a hot pocket phase, right? Mm -hmm. or didn't you all have like... Absolutely. Yeah. I or think we all out. went through hot pocket phases. Hmm. You didn't have a hot pocket phase where you just ate, ate hot pockets hot a lot? all the time? I don't know if it's a phase. It just enters and leaves my life. It just comes yeah, in and out. That's a hot pocket. Huh. That is the most profound thing I've ever heard. <laughs> we all have hot it's pocket true. phases. We have hot pocket to... phases. Oh. It's, it gets really hot and then it oh. cools down. It gets hard. It leaves. Yeah, I think I'd just be naked and I'd be eating hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I, I would do that sleeve that it comes in, that's silver on the inside, and then take that off somehow. I'd be like a butterfly. Up next was Olivia Lux. It was a gorgeous dress. It was like kind of diamondy, prismy. I was Van Herpen with like, you know, the sleeve and then like the big pockets on the side. It had pockets. It didn't really scream pocket to me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it reminded me of? Hmm. It reminded me that these girls get a list of so many looks that they have to commission and make in a very short amount of time. And there are certain looks where I think they look at it and go, fine. And I think her seeing the word pocket was like, fine, dress with pockets, got it, move on. It didn't fit the category, I don't think. I don't think it fit the category. But it was cute. It was cute. And it I was love, really pretty. I love a giant pocket, like a pocket that big. You could put breadsticks. And you love an arm an arm thing, too. You would I look do. really beautiful in that kind of drapey arm vibe. Well, I thought I was going to... I was like, oh, I'll wear like this hoodie dress because it a, has a pocket. Yeah. And then, boom, it doesn't have a pocket because fashion. So I don't but drop these are this. Pocket. Let me just put my phone in here. Yeah, see? Yeah. Girl. Now I actually look like Mama, I got too. a text message from... Oh. Uh, of, <laughs> your arm, your hand is blue. Tight pocket. <laughs> and then we move on to the beautiful, the lovely... Candy Muse mm. in something not as beautiful, not as lovely as Candy Muse. And she knew it. She knew she it too. Knew it. She said she didn't feel confident when she threw this on. Maybe it was a reference to some very, you know, she's very runway inspired. Maybe it was yeah. very like a reference to some designer or runway. Mm. Yeah, just that with the the hair. It was a little bit of a strange. I loved the hair. I'm gonna be. I, I'm gonna be controversial. Yeah, brave. I loved the hair. Mm -hmm. I, I think Candy isn't afraid to play with that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. she sees it in these high fashion editorial pages kind of stuff and she brings it to life. Mm -hmm. Is it always like exactly right or what you'd like to see? No, but that was cool. It was a cool Did effort. Did you see someone on Twitter said, there's a Karen in Chromatica that would like to speak to the manager. Cause that's what it looked like, Chromatica. Okay, here's, here's a, a take. Take it or leave it. Okay. But I feel like if you do a reference, you kind of have to generalize it or dumb it down so that 
anyone can get it, you know? Like, it has to be palatable. It has to be, say it with me. It, it has, has to be, be palatable. palatable. The P stands is for, for palatable. The I stands for it. The H stands for has. The number two stands for two. The B stands for B. And the P stands for pussy. Poop. Oh. It has to the be B poop. poop. That was good. Yeah, I'm that sorry really about good. that. I took that root. <laughs> no, it's kind of like place. Sesame Street. Our final person was Got Mick. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Gore. Just gorgeous, flasher, reveal, gorgeous and brilliant. watches, watch, a watch. great reference. And yes, a referencing the movie Hercules, the mm -hmm. animated mm -hmm. Hercules, when he's like, Want to buy a sundial? That's hilarious. That's good. That's Very a reference. That's a palatable reference. That's a palatable reference. People know that well, suit. It is. Okay, People. so it is. Mm -hmm. The Hercules is typically a, a palatable reference. However, um, Hercules came out right after the Southern Baptist Convention banned Disney uh, because they had gay days at Disney World. So my mom wouldn't allow me to see Hercules because she was making a statement for her Christ and making a statement against the gays. So I never saw Hercules. <gasps> You've still never seen it to this day? It brings me too much pain to even consider sitting down to watch. But he's so That's sexy and satanic. Exactly. Isn't I don't need another dream? Lil Nas X. Like, I've already, I'm going, oh. I, I'm questioning my God already. But yeah, isn't that fucked up? So I never saw Hercules. And that is right up my alley. I love Greek or whatever. And I love songs. He's a redhead too? Oh. He's blonde. Wait. Am I wrong? Yeah. I am. You're thinking of Clay Aiken. I, we, uh, mm, <laughs> my Hercules. <laughs> Clay Aiken. <laughs> uh, oh, I oh, am. You should have won this. I, you should have won Can this. we please, will you watch it? You have to see it. Yeah. You're going to just die never having That's seen Hercules? Good. Well, I, I don't know that that would be the thing I'd be thinking about on my deathbed, but possibly. I mean, I still want to watch Jurassic Park and Star Wars. I've got other big fish to fry. Okay. Well, if not for Hercules, for the Muses. Well, the Muses, the muses. I, I have watched all of the Muses parts on YouTube. Okay. So I have seen that. Yes. Yeah, so you got your life. Yeah. Okay, so that was the end of the runway. So <laughs> exciting, so mm -hmm. new, so mm -hmm. fresh. And let's, now we start, now we gotta watch the movie. We do watch the movie. Guess what? The movie is very long. Oh, 15 minutes. Yeah, they had to fill a lot of time this episode. Why do you think Candy, now I loved what Candy was wearing. I love that we got oh, a lot of panties. She looked beautiful. She looked gorgeous. Why do you, why, why hmm. Candy didn't really come through in this? Hmm. Like she could have been real over the top, real movie villain. And instead she just seemed kind of annoyed. I was sad. I wanted to see. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't think it was bad, but I don't think it was. It didn't stand out. Yeah. For these challenges, like you can't be subdued you can't even be normal you have to be like crazy unhinged energy over the top screaming into the mic making the craziest faces it's vh1 yeah it's vh1 rupaul's drag race oh. low level comedy rose stood out because she kind of did that like into the camera i mean rose has proven that she's an incredible actress mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's the actress of this season mm -hmm. so we find out that the winner of this week's challenge is, in fact, Rose. Rose. Oh, was Rose. Was it? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, it was. It was yes. Rose. It was Rose. <laughs> it was Rose. And well deserved. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally should have been. The bottom two, of course, were Olivia and Candy. I was bored. Can I just say that this sh yeah. this show's boring. <laughs> this show was so boring. I was like, what did I just watch? I think we have some really killer episodes, and I think sometimes we get these long finger... What is that called when you do this with your thumb? Twiddling. Twiddle. 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 It's a finger twiddle. This was a finger twiddle. Tweet that on Twitter about twiddling. About twiddling. Thumbs and... Mm -hmm. But mm. Candy, I loved it. I thought oh, Candy was Oh, I thought was Candy like, did a really oh, yeah, good yeah. job. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The lip sync was strong enough by Cher. A brilliant song. Mm-hmm. And they got to be emotive. They got to like tell their story and really feel those feelings on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was great. Con congratulations, Olivia. Going out on that was, 
It was time. She did a good job. Yeah, it but was her she time. did. She did a good job. I, I I enjoyed her lip sync as well. Yeah, I. I yeah. Yeah. Where are the this assassinations? Was Olivia, this is Olivia's though. time to go. Where are the assassinations? Oh, the lip sync assassinations? Where are the lip sync assassinations where someone like oh. builds or pulls an imaginary sword out of a rock and slays the other girl with it? Like, oh, they sent Denali home. Right. Truth is being told. Truth. The it's most stranger lip eviction. sync of the season on YouTube, I think is hers. Yeah, 2.5 million views currently. Oh, damn. Damn. You mean a flex like that, but yeah. Two of them are me, am I right, ladies? Uh, so, Who's dog? Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I've never Don't heard that dog, dog bark before. <laughs> mm. Oh, they did. They yeah. They asked everyone who should go and and and, and I thought it was go. well. I thought Candy put together an argument that made sense and was a kind way of saying it. And then I think everyone just repeated what Candy said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which it makes sense. It's just like yeah, she's not ready, but she has room to grow or she needs to grow. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice way of saying like she's done. Which is funny because in the challenge they were small and everyone needed to grow. Oh! The brain is always on with this one. Is it? This is a top four. This is so strong. Mm -hmm. I really yeah. wouldn't mind if any of them got the crown. Mm -hmm. I think they all performed so well this mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Who do we think? Who's your pick? Oh, good question. Hmm. If I had to pick, which I think is really difficult, it had been Simone. Mm -hmm. But? Gottmik's consistency throughout the entire show has really sold me. Same. Yeah, and the growth. The and the effortlessness. Yeah. Too. It could be for me either Simone or Gottmik. Yeah, I agree mm -hmm. with that. And I say <clears throat> happy for any of them to win. Mm -hmm. Because also, as we know and as we've said before, if you make top four and you don't win, you still win. You still win. Well, you these, know, these losing is the new winning. It's, it's, <gasps> I've said it before. That, that should, be, should a be a song. song. Yeah. By Vanessa Williams. Are you the new Avril? Are they going to kill this one too? And you're the Ooh. replacement? Yes. Please kill mm. her. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my God. You, t you told me <laughs> to say that. <laughs> Will you put it in my head? <laughs> it's, it's... You said that with such conviction. <laughs> Please kill her. That scared me. I, I don't endorse killing Avril. <laughs> no, I don't no. endorse <laughs> killing child anyone. labor. And everybody can fart. <laughs> Get that out of you there. Were so worried. I was so worried. Wait, girls, wait, wait, wait. This is a. I have a problem. Mm -hmm. right. We are little, and now is when we do the mini personal, but the mini purse is huge. Oh, shit. Oh. Do we have to grow up? I wanted to stay little for a couple of days. Mm. No, it's okay. Like, as a very skinny, beautiful model, like, I always feel little, and I have to say it's overrated. You know what? Cue when I grow up by Pussycat Dolls. When I grow up. Okay, we're big again. Okay. Wow. That's all. We just have to summon the power of the pussycat dolls, mm -hmm. and that made us big. Mm -hmm. Well, that's well, remember perfect. they all, they were made big by just like reading candy, which I thought was. I loved though that oh, they, they, bounced were doing on, they bounced on India Farah's tits. That was fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes, India Farah is so fun to follow on Instagram. R.I.P. India. Wait, she's alive. She's yeah. Alive. <laughs> oh, Avril's dead. Oh, <laughs> Avril won. <laughs> Avril won. <laughs> it is now that time. Mm. Uh, we are here to award the Olivia Lux Mini Personal Achievement Award for Excellence in the Field, mm -hmm. and today I think it only fitting, and I'm sure. Ah! Is, what? We did not talk about the guest judge, who is the Tony Award winning. Oh my goodness, Cynthia Arrivo! Oh. oh my god, I, I'm hot. Like I'm so upset that we almost forgot her. Yes. I love oh. Cynthia Arrivo. Her uh, singing, I'm here. I'm here from the color purple. On the on uh, uh, the Tonys. The to no, well, the to but with Steve Stephen Colbert. Colbert. It's the best version. Oh. It's. Uh, She's it's really good. Brilliant, and she often teams up and does concerts with Shoshana Bean, who is oh, oh. Oh. so to see them. <sighs> Can we watch that later? I yes, we're gonna watch that this you put that in my mind. This Oh my gosh! So okay, I'm sorry. I'm glad you brought that up. Oof. I forgot. I went up for that. Yes, I'm sorry. I, wow. I didn't mean to take your purse. This week's winner 
of the Olivia Lux Mini Personal Achievement Award for Excellence in the Field goes to Olivia Lux. I said the prop master. I said Cynthia Rebo. I said Olivia Lux. Thank you, Olivia, for bringing us mini purses and that beautiful smile. Uh, we'll miss you on our TVs, but only for one, two more weeks. Yeah. Thank you, prop master, for making those giant props. Thank you, Cynthia Arivo, for singing I'm Here on The Tonight Show. Thank you, Jesus, for coming back. Zombie Jesus does it best. Thank you, children, for all the work that you do for Darby. <laughs> Thank you, Mama, for finishing your art project. More on the way. All right, before we go... <laughs> <laughs> She's the dark one. She's laughing the hardest. We have been continuing to collect donations for Asian Americans Advancing Justice Chicago, mm -hmm. as well as collecting tips for ourselves so that we can buy food. And we haven't done one of the scrolls in a while. Mm. So oh. I, I think it's a grand time to go ahead and show the receipt for the donation we made, as well as the scroll. Now, what song should we do? Should we, we do should I'm do Here? It was in Rico? my head. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, I don't know. So okay. you take it. I'm gonna, like that one? Okay, let's start. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a deep breath. Gonna hold my head up. Gonna put my shoulders back. And look you straight in the eye. I'm gonna flirt with somebody. When they walk by, I'm gonna sing out. Sing out. Thank you. That was lovely. That was beautiful. Oh, we did it. We did it. You you were there. You, you you enjoyed. So if you enjoyed that song and you'd love to tip us for it, just remember that Shan and I did most of the work. You can send that to our PayPal, our Venmo, or our Cash App, all on the screen at IMH on the show. Yes, and if you can't tip us, that's okay. Totally understand that. Just give us a like or a share. That helps out our video. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell your friends about us. Absolutely. And if, if you want other things to do, join us over at Patreon for exclusive content, a podcast, a monthly live event, and um, other things... And, and a Discord. Things. And a Discord. A very crazy Discord. Also, last week we shared, or, or on our Australia... Yagging on America. <laughs> <laughs> In our Australia video, we did show you a commercial for Bambi Bay. Bambi Bakes. I do that all the time. Sorry, Bambi Banks Bakes. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Bambi Bakes. The first episode premiered today. As of The day next day. episode premieres Tuesday at 9 a.m. Central Time. And you may see a few familiar faces. Wow. Wow. So make sure you tune in for that. Mm -hmm. And with that, let's go watch Cynthia Reba. Oh, please, okay. please. Y'all go ahead. I'll join you in a second. I just want to... Um, okay. You can't shrink that Nanny McPhee booty as much as you You're gonna try. sit on something and then shrink yourself. You're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, whenever I... Are you... <laughs>
Whenever I... <laughs> Are you... Ha <laughs> ha. 